Stan Hess is an independent girls boarding school situated just outside Newbury for girls of 11 to 18 and it's 99.9% .9 boarding with a few day boarders attached to it. And our key purpose is to encourage our girls to develop into the young women they want to be. I really like it. I mean, I was in a day school before, but now coming to a boarding school, it's so much better. There's so many more opportunities. Like after school, you don't have to think of going back home and doing all your homework. So it feels more like home, basically. But when I first came and removed, there was kind of this talk of independent learning. I didn't really, didn't really know what it was all about. And then when I started GCSEs, I actually really like understood what it meant. And it's a lot easier now. Like I feel like I'm doing better academically as well. Our girls persevere when they find something hard. They're really creative in their outlook towards everything. And that comes from a really dedicated staff who go above and beyond the call of duty. They're our girls and we'll do everything in our power to make sure that they get the absolute best from us that they can. All our teachers are also really good at keeping us motivated and interested in our subjects. It kind of becomes that you want to learn instead of you have to. We're in an environment where it's easy for us to be ambitious and we have so much support in that that it's, I think it's worth it. <laughs> It's so nice to be part of something, and especially in a cross team, having all your friends with you and playing competitive sport is just amazing, it's so fun. If you want to take it seriously, you can, but if you're not as competitive, if it's not in your nature, then you don't have to take it as competitively, but you're still encouraged to do it. I think that they're amazing at a whole range of different things. There's some wonderful creative things going on, both in, in art and ceramics and textiles. We have a wonderful collection of musicians and singers. We've got girls on the national platform. We've got girls who've just started instruments have never seen an instrument before in their life. There's huge opportunities for girls to take up instruments for the first time, sing for the first time. The sky's the limit here. This year there was Night at the Movies, which was where the orchestras all got together and played loads of different scores from films. It was a lot of fun, so that was a really, really good experience. Drama is taken seriously, but you can also do it if you don't want to take it that seriously. You don't have to do grades in speech and drama, you can just have fun. From when they come in at 11 plus, we have two boarding houses and the strength, I believe, of our pastoral care is that within those boarding houses, you've only got girls who are 11. That actually means the academic focus, the pastoral care, is completely age appropriate. It's, it's just like home, you sort of, you're very relaxed here and you get to know it really quickly. The house staff especially, um, they're so good, they're so like motherly um, and caring for us when we first come in so it makes you feel like you can tell them anything and it's so easy to go to them and tell them your problems and they're always there for you. It's all about community here at Dan House, it's our complete focus. We are a big family, whether you're a girl or a member of staff. Girls, when they come, they're only on loan to us for a short period of time. And it's very much about building a partnership with the parents. And that's hugely important because together the parents and the school are the girls' support team. And if we do it together, it'll be much better for the girls. Miss McKendrick knows everyone. She she knows everything about everyone. She knows how you're improving academically. Like she gives you tips, she gives you advice. Like she's really like down to earth, and she really knows what happens within the actual school. She's not just kind of like a figurehead for everything. You've always got to work hard, so it's really important to play hard as well and have fun. That's part of of our job is to give them as many opportunities as we possibly can, because that's where the confidence develops. So it's not just the academic opportunities. The extracurricular department is amazing. There's always something going on. I even saw an option to go um, riding segways in the woods later on in the term. There really is everything that you'd want to do. We went to Bangalore and Delhi, um, and it was a three week trip. And we did a bit of teaching and a bit of sightseeing. We saw loads of different things about it. We learned a huge amount when we were out there and the teaching aspect of it was really interesting and to see the contrast between Down and the Acts of Hope school that we were working at was huge. 
We take the idea of being a global citizen to heart here at Down House and our girls are prepared not only in terms of the fact that they do go and visit other countries through their boarding houses and our community links but through a sense of community in our own areas as well. We're also preparing them for universities that they will go to overseas as well um, and building up links with those universities, internships overseas. We now have a, a World of Work coordinator who helps us to manage all those opportunities. When you get into sixth form you've got a lot more freedom academically and in your free time and you learn differently, your teachers treat you differently, there's a different relationship and boarding house life is different as well. You get to have your own rooms which is always nice. You're treated more like an adult, it's nice. The pre is an alternate, alternate option really to the A level which a lot of other schools do. A lot of people don't know very much about it but having been to a few open days for universities actually looking at what people have said I don't think we could be better prepared actually. It's such a great way to learn and it's so similar to how you're taught at university. It's yeah, really good I think. We're trying to enable them when they leave to really have a self-confidence a belief in themselves which isn't arrogance, it is just that they have come to terms with who they are, they know what they do really well, they know what they don't do well and they're not afraid to have a go and to make a contribution and if we can get them to really like themselves by the time they leave there isn't much in life that will knock them off course. I'm so glad I did it, I don't regret anything about coming to the school. I've made some really awesome friends, I've met some really diverse, really awesome people and I've enjoyed it. Here it's not just a school, it's kind of your, your home for, your, for the term. You spend 24 hours a day with your friends, so I think that bond is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm.